All right, here it is. I think it's an 84 Grand Prix. I don't know what the hell this shit is. But... Um, if you want to look, pay attention that the, whatchamacallit, is not consistent. It's a little bit consistent. The guy knows it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be hard to match. Um, if I have to, I was thinking, I mean, the trunk and the roof look good. But if I have to prep from the doors down, you know, we could do like the doors all the way down because he's going to pay attention over here. Whoever's seen it already knows that, you know, their eye is going to be over here and not too much between the quarter and the doors. Uh, Paint-wise, like I said, I can go get it matched, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. It touches when it turns. I think it needs a little bit of frame pulling too. The guy picked it up for cheap. I think he said he paid like 1200 or something. And he already had these rims at home. Um, that needs paint right here under the license plate. That filler piece. Um, and if we, I mean, painting all the way down the side, I don't know how I would blend it up towards the roof. Or if we had to uh, back roll it from that body line right there. Might be easier. Tape the mirror, just sand those sides down and you know, paint it. Base it with whatever they based it with. But I'm thinking, honestly, I mean, I don't know how you get, you'll get this part, how you get the design, but I was thinking maybe, you know, I'll base it to like, a third of the way of the door and then we could somewhere somehow blend it over here where it, you know <clears throat> and I, I didn't have to touch the quarters so I don't know I mean think about it if you want to ask around ask around I don't know how we did it or what he used I wish I did but um, yeah it's pretty sexy I think and this guy the owner of the car has got a bunch of other cars. He's got a shop in Detroit, a rim and tire shop. So, I mean, if I put this outside, he's going to bring me a lot more work. <laughs>